Hello and welcome. My name is Maria de Souza. I am a Feldenkrais and a yoga teacher and I'm coming back to you with part four of an exercise for the shoulders. Please watch part one, two and three uh, because this won't make much sense. So don't do this um, one, um, this part um, on itself. Uh, do part one, two and three and then do part four four you can do part one two and three um in it's on itself on it um on um but uh don't this don't do this one without part three okay at least with part three so we are going to go straight into the exercise so you come and lie on the floor on your back bring the feet on the floor just like we did before so we're going to carry on from the last video we were doing this movement with the arms we ended the exercise doing this movement with the arm so you're going to carry on doing this movement please if you haven't watched that please do that that this is continuation of part three okay so you can't do this one on itself on its own okay so you're going to do that a few times um well you're going to carry on with this movement and from here you're going to sit on the floor so come to sitting and sit with the soles of the feet towards each other or something like that wherever it's comfortable for you okay so find what's comfortable for you should I sit this way maybe this way all right okay and bring your arms to that t-shape position and you're going to do the same thing with the arms okay you're going to roll them and you're going to look at the arms and as you you look to an arm don't forget the arm that is behind you keep your awareness as well on that arm that is behind you okay so that it doesn't flop um, but that con is a continuation of the other arm okay and breathe in and out and you're going to move from side to foot side allow your torso the chest the ribs to move together with the arms okay remember when we did on the floor we brought that um, notion of a dance between the arms and the chest and you continue this continue and hear this dance between the chest and your arm so roll from side to side and you do that for as long as it is comfortable for you for your shoulders for your arms relax the jaw and you just roll from side to side allow the movement in the torso soften the chest and extend the arms as if you want to touch um, the wall that is at the end of your arms you can lean a little bit towards each arm okay and then it's quite tiring on the shoulders and then rest sitting and lean on your or if you can you can come lie and rest on your back wherever feels good for you okay okay now you are going to need a blanket so go and grab a blanket a thin blanket like so because you're going to come onto your knees okay so let's come onto the knees Uh, the blanket is to for you to protect your knees okay so I've got carpet it's quite a thick carpet already below on the floor but 
I still want some more cushioning in the knees, okay? So if you are in a hard surface, make sure that you fold that blanket several times so that it's nice and soft for the knees, okay? Always protect your knees when you kneel down. Okay, bring the toes together, keep the knees um, apart, but the toes come together. And you're going to come back to this position with the arms, okay? And you're going to keep rolling the arms just like you did before when you are sitting. Okay, so roll and look towards your hand. And you're going to start leaning a little bit more towards each hand, okay? So allow that mobility in your torso. So lean a little bit more each time. I need to move a little bit this way, I'm touching the wall. So lean a little more towards each arm each time you roll okay and as you look to one arm don't forget the arm that is behind you keep your awareness on that arm that is behind you as well okay you're gonna lean from side to side and you'll see, you'll notice that leaning to one side, it's easier than leaning to the other side. Or you can lean more towards one side and lean less towards the other side. Your aim is to make that um, equal. So don't lean too much towards the side that you feel that you lean more, lean a little bit less. So that is equal to the other side that you don't lean so easily okay so notice that notice how you're leaning from side to side which side you lean more and then lean a little bit less so that you equalize with the other side okay so you want to make this movement equal equally from side to side if you need to take a break oh talk and do is not always easy so take a rest if you need to take a rest for your shoulders your arms and then you can come back there okay so when you're leaning you will notice a difference a difference between leaning to one side and leaning to the other um, uh, there'll be one side of yourself that is maybe shorter we all have this uh, uh, misalignments and muscle imbalances in the body so it's um, likely that one side of your of yourself is a little bit shorter and the other is a little bit longer which means that the one that is shorter you lean a little bit more and the other side is more of a struggle so when you're leaning lean less towards that side that leans better and go as far as you can on the other side so you want to equalize both sides okay so let's go back there and pay attention to which side you lean more and then lean a little bit less towards that side and see if we can make it equal to the other side breathe in and out Okay, then after you have explored that at least a couple of times. Then you can let go and come and rest. You can rest, uh, keep your blanket because we're going we're gonna to go back to kneeling. So, but you can rest, uh, see, lean here or just lie on the floor and take a moment to rest. It's just nice to lie down and just feel your shoulders stay connected healing is feeling just feel yourself okay let's go back 
um, to seating. Now, this is probably a different, uh, different um, video, but when you come up, just be aware. I've got videos about how to um, get up, how to move from lying to to seating in a way that doesn't cause strain. If you're gonna get out of that, you can cause lots of strain in the body, okay? If you got the, the strength, uh, then you can come up like so, or you can roll to the side and spiral up, okay? So whatever you do, make sure you're not causing any unnecessary strain to your lower back. Okay, I've got videos where I teach you all this stuff. You're gonna do the same thing. Um, bring the toes together, knees apart. This time you're going to start, you're going to look towards the arm that doesn't feel, towards the side that doesn't feel so um, natural, okay? so. You probably, it's very likely that you are looking towards the arm that goes up, the palm goes up and behind, okay? Um, this is the common um, uh, way. Most people look towards the arm that goes up, okay? Uh, let me know below if that is also the case for you or not, okay? So you're going to start looking towards the side that doesn't feel so natural, okay? So in my case is in like most people, I was looking towards the arm that goes up, so now I need to look towards the arm that goes um, down, okay? And you carry on doing these movements and leaning and you'll notice that it doesn't feel so familiar. Oh, breathe in and out and do what you can gracefully dance in the arms with the chest. And again, you do that for as long as it feels comfortable. Okay, you can take a rest and come back. Okay. Oh, it's quite tiring, tiring, isn't it? Okay, take a moment to rest here. Okay, come back there and just do the same movement towards the side that doesn't feel so natural. A few more times. Don't forget the arm that is behind you. Okay, and then let go. Take a moment to rest. We're going to come back to kneeling. <sighs> okay, this time bring one foot on the floor. It doesn't matter which foot because you need to do with both sides. Bring the um, arms up and start moving the arms and looking towards the hand that feels more natural, okay? But this time you're going to start rounding the back and looking behind your shoulder or looking um, under your armpit as if you want to check your or see your shoulder blade. Okay, and both, you do that in both sides. Remember that you need to round the back to, to do so, come back to the center and then round and look behind, uh, under your armpit. Okay, but allow the back to round. Okay, which is not easy. 
do what you can take as many rests as you need let's take a rest so as you are moving from side to side and around the, um, the back to look behind and underneath your armpit you need to allow your pelvis to move as well the pelvis moves slightly back as well in order for you to be able to round the back okay so let's do it again same foot on the floor arms up let's so round and look and um, below your armpit as if you want to see your shoulder blade don't forget the arm that stays behind and this is not easy do what you can okay breathe in breathe out okay take a moment to rest ah. so this requires a level of effort in your neck and back you do what you can this what you can this movement um, helps to separate the movement um, f um, of the head from the shoulders okay so um, it's not a easy movement you do what you can take as many breaks as you need okay so let's do the other side so bring the other foot on the floor and again as you roll the arms look underneath round the back the pelvis moves back ever so slightly to allow you to round the back come to the center lengthen the spine and move and round again okay so make the point to come to the mid and lengthen and then round again not an easy movement do what you can take as many breaks as you need and then come back okay and take a break okay let's go back and go try it again okay so you are in the middle long spine and then round allow the pelvis to go back round and look underneath this movement will help you to realign organize the head on top of the spine balance it's um, something that will be challenging as well so do what you can Don't close your eyes because that will not help with the balance. Okay, and then let go and come and rest on your back. Ooh. Ooh. Take, take a moment to let everything go. Feel your shoulder blades against the floor, the top of your back, the back of your head. Okay, bring the feet on the floor and bring your arms to the organization again. Now move the arms in opposite directions. 
you've done that, this before and look towards you the hand that goes up which is what feels natural for most people if it's not your case please let me know below and turn the, uh, turn the head this time lead with the chin as you turn lead the turn think of your chin turning Okay, and then look the opposite way, to the way that doesn't feel so natural. And again, think of your chin leading the movement with the chin. That will reach a different area in your spine. Remember to keep that 9 degree angle of your arms, the elbow nicely in line with the shoulders. Okay, let go and rest. Come back to the same organization and now move the arms in opposite direction but allow the head to go to the natural side, that the way that it looks natural and just notice how things feel now. Notice if your arms, your shoulders feel better organized, closer to the floor. Notice that quality of movement in your neck comparing to before. Okay. Let go, there's nothing else to do. This is the end of this exercise. Just feel yourself against the floor. Just notice what feels different to before. Notice the organization of your arms on the floor. Are they in the same organization as before, as the previous times, previous videos? How, how do your um, shoulder blades feel now against the floor? Notice what feels different and your shoulders, are they closer to the floor? How does it feel in your chest? Turn your head from side to side. Notice how that feels. The quality of that movement, the awareness of your spine. Maybe you can feel a bit more of your spine now. Maybe your spine is in your radar, radar of awareness as you turn the head. Let's notice what feels different and make sure you let me know below what was your experience of doing these four parts of this exercise okay so well done for doing this exercise if you haven't completed the four parts please do it's a great exercise to reorganize the shoulders in relation to your head and your head in relation to your shoulders it's a great exercise if you feel stuck in your chest that your chest doesn't move 
um, if you feel tension um, stiffness it's a great exercise to lose up, loosen up okay to make things a little bit more soft and easier to move okay so let me know below what was your experience and if you want this exercise in one place in one in one go um, have a look at the link below and remember if you want to improve your posture if you want to go through a full um, exercise pro program with me by your side <coughs> Uh, have a look at the link below where I have all my digital programs for you to do from the comfort of your own home but at the same time having me um, there to support your journey have a look at the testimonials and feedbacks uh, feedback in my um, website Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you so much for watching. Give me the thumbs up and um, share this my share my work with your friends and family. And I'll see you at the next video. Bye bye now.